Hello, my name is Kate Weinberg. I am a graphic designer. I share my work on social media as well. You might know me by at Quine by Design. I'm usually designing products or merch, a lot of sports related stuff or redesigning different brands, logos and stuff like that with my own style and twist on it. And today I am partaking in the official Photoshop Creator Games. Basically with this Creator Games, it's me and three other creatives who have been asked to completely transform the same exact image. So this is the image and it's a little scuba diver guy and we have one hour to edit it using Photoshop and completely transform it. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me in my creative process, talk through all of my design decisions and edits, and we'll see where this goes. So this is the image that we have. It's a scuba diver guy. And when I first saw this, I knew immediately I wanted to design a book cover. I am actually a huge reader and am constantly in bookstores just looking at the cover designs. And this, just like the ominous vibe of the scuba diver, I felt like it could be really linked to like a story that could go on a book cover. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I knew I wanted to isolate just the scuba diver. So I'm gonna use the object selection tool and then Photoshop actually just updated the select subject. Um, so I'm just gonna click select subject and it's really easily able to just select the scuba diver even all around all of the details and the fingers as you can see here. And then I'm gonna add it to its own layer. I kinda wanna make this more graphic vibe so I am gonna convert this dude into a smart object and then go up to the filter gallery. I have an obsession with torn edges. <laughs> it just turns it into a more simple graphic outline and adjust the image balance. That's really good. I love him. Just changing the background color. I just like to do that. So I'm just gonna bring in this piece of paper now because I really wanna do this torn paper effect, kind of give it like more depth, make it kind of like scrapbooky. Um, so I have this piece of paper on a white background and all I have to do is literally click remove background. And yeah, the background is removed. Even when it's white on white, um, Photoshop was able to kind of update this feature and make it more precise. So that just gives me the perfect crisp cutout of the piece of paper that I need for this. So let's see if I can make it look like it's a torn piece of paper. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, okay, and now I, you know what? I like this. I'm gonna bring this dude and kind of make it seem like he's on the piece of paper. Like maybe he's mirroring himself, I don't know. Actually, what if he's just like, shoo, like he was on a piece of paper and that was ripped in half. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay, just adjusting it and then turning him around here. Um, playing with the composition, I'm gonna, add another piece of paper. Like I said, I really want to like scrapbook this. So I'm going to add another piece of paper under the top piece of paper, just duplicate it a little bit, uh, bringing it over. I'm actually going to add a drop shadow, going to effects and then clicking drop shadow. Um, okay, adjusting the size a little bit. I can copy the layer style with the exact drop shadow that I like and just paste it onto other layers that I want to have the same effect. Okay, I have this ship and I wanna incorporate it in this. I saw it and I just thought it would go perfectly with the scuba diver. I want it to give more warmth to it or just adjust the color a little bit to make it look a little bit more worn I guess so I'm just gonna click adjust color and it's actually been simplified so I can really easily right here just 
drag around and change it to the saturation and hue and lightness that I like. Um, Photoshop actually updated this kind of layout for the hue and saturation. So personally, this makes it so much easier. I can just stay in my canvas and just edit things how I want it to. Um, I'm going to drag it over this and multiply it so that it kind of blends onto the piece of paper and then use a clipping mask to kind of make it cut out to that paper. Now I feel like for the background, I have the perfect image. I have this map that I found. Um, guys, I'm going for like, this is like an old shipwreck story of a scuba diver. I'm gonna drag this into the background, but again, the color is way too bright and just not fitting with the ominous vibe um so i'm gonna do just a color adjustment again and just change it a little bit i'm gonna use a color adjustment again to change the piece of paper it's not this fresh printer piece of paper it's kind of like a little bit more worn i'm gonna think of a name for this book mm. i'm just gonna do I'm just going to do Lost at Sea because <laughs> I feel like that is fitting with the vibe. I'm trying to find like a good font that kind of feels like it goes with this energy. Let's see. I feel like I have one that will work. Okay, this is great. I love this. I don't like the all the words in a row. I kind of want it to be like fit together better. So let's make the C bigger. I really like that. I want to write national bestseller. Okay, I'm going to type national bestseller. And then put this at the top. My name is the author. <laughs> it's giving book, I hope. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Okay, I have 20 minutes. I I want to make this like a little bit more symmetrical. So I'm adding the boat ship piece of paper over here. I want to make it seem like that was also torn. Okay, I want to type out nothing is what it seems. Like this is a mystery book, if you couldn't tell. Um, I'm leaning into the ominous mystery energy of this book. Okay, I like this. This is what we're gonna go with. Um, I could probably keep tweaking it forever, but I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. So I'm gonna export this image and then just drag and drop it into my Adobe Stock template. I'm gonna add like a book binding color just in this dark green. And let's see what it looks like. I think I, I actually like that. Would you read this book if you saw it in the store? <laughs> okay, well, that is it. My time is up. I designed the book somehow <laughs> in the one hour. Um, this is the final design of my book, Lost at Sea by Kate Weinberg, a national bestseller. Definitely be sure to check out my other competitors' videos and watch how they completely transform the same image I used using Photoshop's new features. And if you're interested in learning photo editing or exploring product design, definitely check out Photoshop.